Hello everyone. As many developers are out there are considering building a Stripe app, we thought it would be great to hear firsthand from developers who have built one of our first Stripe apps. To share their experience, we have Colin and Reggie from Bench, who recently launched our Stripe app in the marketplace. Colin, and Reggie, would you like to give a quick intro? Colin, maybe you first? Yeah. Hi, I'm Colin Gisselson. I'm a staff software engineer at Bench Accounting, where I've spent the last year working to build out our partnership capabilities, especially building our suite of APIs for our partners to use. I'm a full stack of developer, most recently working in Node, TypeScript, and React. Hi, I'm Reggie Serlin. I'm a software engineer at Bench, and I've also spent the past year working on the Powered by Bench API and partner projects alongside Colin and our team, mostly working with React, TypeScript, and Node. Awesome. Great to have you here. Um, let's dive in. But first, Colin, could you give a quick overview of the Bench product itself? As you can probably imagine, most business owners aren't comfortable doing bookkeeping themselves or just don't have the time or energy to handle it. People often don't do their books and fall behind on filing their taxes or struggle as they try and do the work themselves. Bench solves this by providing small business owners with software and a team of experts to provide bookkeeping, income tax prep, filing, and financial insights all within one platform. Thanks, Colin. I can see how Stripe and Bench would have a lot of mutual customers. When developers start their businesses, they also need an accounting solution. Uh, but Stripe doesn't offer everything. A Stripe app can make it very easy for users to find uh, and get started with a product like Bench. Um, and the product and the Powered by Bench API makes it possible to put the Bench product in the app. Reggie, can you tell us a, a little bit more about the Bench API? Of course. So Bench has been building out our suite of APIs to extend our features beyond our own app and enable third-party developers to integrate and utilize Bench's powerful bookkeeping services within their own platforms. Effectively, our goal in building these APIs is to allow small business owners to do things like communicate with their bench bookkeepers, help categorize unknown transactions, or even view accounting insights like their up-to-date profit and loss statements from other platforms that they visit on a daily basis. Building the bench app for Stripe was the first time we truly got to put our APIs to use. And for us, it was the coolest test and learning opportunity. The good thing, it all worked seamlessly. That's great to hear. Um, Colin, going back to the Bench product and Stripe apps, uh, can you speak to the opportunity for Bench to have a Stripe app? Bench solves a huge pain point for Stripe users in need of accurate books. We take the manual time-consuming reconciliation work off their shoulders and help them to prepare and file their taxes at your end. Bench also creates financial statements like balance sheets and income statements to provide businesses with a complete and holistic view of their finances. As you can imagine, we do this by pulling in data from all financial sources. Our unique opportunity was to provide Stripe users with that valuable information in one app so users don't need to navigate between different platforms to see it. That's definitely in line with why we built Stripe apps. So we found that the Stripe dashboard is often the center of how a user operates their business. Um, it made a lot of sense to allow developers to bring in their own products into the dashboard uh, just to improve the general user experience. So like you said, so users don't have to flip back and forth between websites or products. Reggie, can you tell us a little bit more about what you have built, what the capabilities of the Bench Stripe app is in the dashboard? Would be happy to. So the Bench app allows business owners to see the full picture and check the health of their business by viewing their income statement so that they can make financially informed decisions. Users can track performance over time by comparing custom date ranges to see how things have changed over time as well. And lastly, the app helps share context between the two platforms by giving users status updates on where their books are at and signaling them if their bookkeeper needs their input. Over time, we want to build on this so that we can get users to take those actions directly within the app itself instead of linking back into the Bench platform. Awesome. That's a lot of capability that just did not exist within the Stripe dashboard before. Um, to enable developers to build an app like this, Stripe provides a, a set of developer tools, um, including updates to a command line interface, set of UI components. Colin, what was the developer experience like using all those tools, building the Bench Stripe app? We were really happy with the, how simple it was to get started. We used the command line tool to generate our app and it was ready to go right out of the box. The app already had tooling like hot reloading and a test framework set up, so we could just start building right away. And the simplicity of the React-based UI components helped us make design decisions quickly and it also made it easy to follow your design guidelines. Uh, we were regularly able to get helpful feedback from Stripe, which also made the development process even further. On that note, it was really nice to be able to request the features we needed, whether it was a new component or an update to an existing one. Stripe was very responsive to our feedback via GitHub issues, Discord, and email correspondence. 
It was awesome getting a weekly update from Maggie and seeing some of our issues pop up from time to time. Developer experience is actually very important to Stripe and what motivates a lot of us here to improve and build new products. So that's really awesome to hear. It's really great to hear. So let's get a little bit more technical here. There are many developers who probably have an existing API, um, like Bench did, or Bench does, um, that are thinking about building a Stripe app. How does your Stripe app interface pull data from Bench via your APIs? Can you explain a little bit about that? Yeah, the Bench app for Stripe uses our Bench API, plus a couple of private endpoints that we built for Stripe specifically. Uh, when the app loads, it immediately makes a request to our backend that fetches the client data based on the Stripe account and user IDs. Uh, we use those IDs to uh, determine a different experience based on the client state for them. So for example, new users are shown a prop to sign up and some demo income statements so they can see how the app will look when they use it. On the other hand, existing clients are redirected to our login flow using Auth0. During the OAuth flow, we save the associated Stripe IDs along with the Bench internal IDs. The user is then redirected back to the Bench Stripe app, which is now able to fetch their actual financial data. Sounds pretty seamless. So for developers out there who are more familiar with the Stripe API and some of those entities, the Bench app is actually able to do this by leveraging the user's account ID that the Stripe app provides. Um, it is automatically sent via a webhook when a user installs the Stripe the Stripe app, and the account ID is also injected into the front end code um, of the Stripe app to utilize. Reggie, can you share more about what other Stripe app features uh, were helpful in building the Stripe app? Some of the main Stripe app features we used were the global drawer and focus view components, configuring the settings page, as well as some OAuth tools we used to redirect back to the app. We used a whole bunch of UI components, but some of the cool ones that were really helpful were the image, spinner, tabs, banner, and badge components. Reggie, you mentioned earlier that building the Stripe app was a learning opportunity for the Bench API itself. Can you speak to a little bit more about you know, what that opportunity was and what are some learnings you had? So as this was the first time we were really putting the Bench API to use, we definitely came across the potentially use client use cases. Whenever we had to fix something to get it working the way we wanted it to for the Stripe app, we always have to consider that our changes should also be relevant to others who might use our API in the future. We also learned the importance of having good and effective communication channels. Much of our success in developing the Bench Stripe app is due to the helpful interactions we've had with the Stripe team and yourself, John, particularly on Discord and video calls. So now that you have your first Stripe app built and it's in the marketplace, um, any new features on the horizon? Anything you're looking forward to releasing in an update? We're looking into launching notifications, balance sheets, and the data visualizations within the Bench app for Stripe. A future iteration allows for a more full-service bookkeeping experience within Stripe. We have tons of cool ideas. It's going to be hard to prioritize which ones to do. We'd love to hear from other developers and business owners in the community. Help us choose by commenting below or filling out our in-app survey. Awesome. So to close things up, for someone who's just getting started building a Stripe app, do you have any quick tips for them? A great place for developers to get started with Stripe apps is the documentation. We also found it incredibly useful to explore the Stripe apps repo for small app examples. And for developers interested in building something for Bench using your APIs, yeah, where can they find out more information? If you'd like to take our embedded bookkeeping APIs for Spin, contact our team at the link on the screen. Thanks, Colin Reggie. It was really great hearing about your developer experience. Check out the Bench app and the Stripe app marketplace to see what they built and to stay up to date on the Stripe app's public beta. Follow our GitHub repo.